gonna break. I'm gonna break my. I'm gonna break my rusty cage and run. Hello YouTube, this is Omid here with a guide to the easter eggs of Mob of the Dead. In this first part I'm going to be looking at the weapons. There are three special weapons which you can unlock with absolute certainty. These are incredibly powerful, especially when combined and make you now unstoppable. However, they are quite challenging to acquire. The first one is the ability to hold two blundergats at the same time. So there are five blue skulls hidden across Alcatraz. These are only visible in Purgatory or Afterlife mode. Basically what you have to do is you have to hit the skulls with a Hell's Retriever you can, and you can see that you've um, been successful in your throw because they'll be attached to the Retriever as it returns to you even though you're not in afterlife mode. Also your character will say something. So the five locations of the skulls are the prison cell immediately opposite to the library. Oh, I think I know what this is for. The Reef of Alcatraz. The telephone post outside the warden's office. One of the stilts on the PhD mule kick pier. And a lamppost near Juggernaug. We're gonna need this for sure. For the lamppost, the original discoverer of this trick and um, play the game recommends jumping from a position on the map, throwing it up to get to it. But when I was trying to do this for the life of me, I could not do it at all. It just wouldn't work for me. So I prefer the alternative method, which is the gondola, where you take the gondola and you throw it down as you're passing over it. It's a much easier way to get the skull, but obviously because you're having to pay to use the gondola, it's an expensive mistake if you miss it. When you've collected all five of the skulls, go to the warden's office. Once you've entered, his desk will ignite and a free blundergat will become available. Only one person can pick this up. Now, you can use this to get two blundergats because if, if before you do this, you get a blundergat out of the random box and then upgrade it in some way, pack a punch in it using the acid gat kit or possibly even both. Before you pick up the second one, you hold two at the same time. So you'll hold your upgraded blundergat and the basic one. Once you've got this two combination, you can actually upgrade these. Um, so for example, you could have, say, as I have here, the Pack-a-Punched Blundergat and the Pack-a-Punched Acid Gat. However, don't configure it so you make the same version or you will lose it. So don't try and turn your second one into the first one, if you see what I mean. It's quite... Con I really didn't do that right. Okay. Say you've got as I have here, the blunder gat and the acid gat. If you put the blunder gat in the acid gat kit, you won't get it back. The case will open and there'll be nothing in it. So you can't have the two variants at the same time, but you can have two different variants. And obviously the best combination is the sweeper and the vitrolic witherer. So that's the best combination to use them in, but other combinations are available, of course, if you want to do it. But yeah, that's how you can hold two blundergats at the same time. The second wonder weapon on this map is the golden spork. T to do this you must first assemble the plane, go to the golden gate bridge and return. Then you must throw a hell's retriever at the poster in this cell near the warrant's office. Then you must go into purgatory or afterlife mode, enter the portal that appears after you have hit the poster and zap the spoon on the ground until you hear Samantha's laugh. <laughs> Then you must go to the cafeteria and throw the health retriever at the spoon behind a window. The warden will say a few things to let you know you've done this correctly. Once you've completed both of these, you will have the spoon as a melee weapon. However, it doesn't really give you any damage boost over the normal knife. Then you go to the infirmary and either hold X, square or F against the bath in there and it, you will insert your spoon into it, meaning you, you go back to the basic knife. Once you've done this, you have to go to the shower room and kill zombies with either an acid gat or a vitrolic witherer until you hear Samantha laugh again. You can all kiss my Irish head. Then go back to the bath and hold X or square or F. When the hand comes out holding this golden spork, 
hold X square or F again to get the Golden Spork. Golden Spork is a one hit kill melee weapon up until round 34, so it's pretty powerful, but as the rounds get higher, the amount of zombies swarming into you, you might want to have something else to, to rely on besides the Golden Spork. So the third super weapon is Hell's Redeemer. To earn this, you must get the Hell's Retriever and head to the Golden Gate Bridge. You have to kill a lot of zombies with it. Um, I've tried this a few times, and it was it seems to differ every time. But there's sort of like two conflicting theories on it at the moment, and I have so far been unable to replicate the effects more than once, so I can't comment on it. But the two ideas are get 30 kills with just the Hell's Retriever on the bridge or spend an entire round on the bridge using only the Hell's Retriever. Either way, I guess re recommend the second one to be safe and if you do this before about round 15, the Hell's Retriever is a one hit kill anyway so, you know, there's no need to worry about it. Um, once you've done this, return back to Alcatraz and throw your Retriever into the Sacrificial Pit. You, you, will not get, you will not get a return from it and you won't have it until you complete the next step. You have to let the round end, as, as of which time the area where the retriever is picked up goes from red to blue. Then you must enter afterlife or purgatory mode and hold square X or F next to the glowing blue tomahawk that's only visible in afterlife mode. Then you have the re Hell's Redeemer. Now I guess aside, um, I have attempted this two times so far. The first time it sort of glitched out where I had both at the same time, so it's a bit odd. I don't exactly know what happened, but I didn't do it in a smooth way. There was like dining, stuff came in, stuff came back. It was all very confusing and mixed up. I have no idea what happened, but I, I came out of it with a Hell's Redeemer, so you can see it is there, and the original Discover, this is the layout that they've used. I've replicated it, and it does seem to work. Um, the, the Redeemer itself, uh, it doesn't really offer many advantages over the Hell's Retriever except for two. One, it's blue, so it looks better. Well, that's up to personal opinion, but I think it looks better just because it's unique. And also, when you have a Retriever, if you hold it down instead of throwing it, you can, you can charge it two times to increase the damage. The Redeemer can be charged three times compared to the Retriever's two charges, meaning that if you use it carefully, it will do max more damage than the retriever, meaning it's more effective into the later rounds. It also can be used to pick up power-ups as normal. So if you combine the Hell's Redeemer, the Golden Spork, and the two Blunder Gats at once, you can pretty much become unstoppable in Mob of the Dead. I spent, I think, round 27 with nothing except for Kyogrenog, and in one of the hard, in like a, one of the most awkward areas in the map, and I could hold off with this kind of combination. So. Surviving sensibly should be no problem at all once you get these steps done. Uh, there's also been a few reports coming back of an upgradable claymore called the Hellmore. Um, I'm going to be doing a few tri trials of this um, in the future, but as of yet, I haven't been able to upgrade it, so I can't confirm whether this exists or not. But as I'll let you know as soon as I find out. But there you go. I hope you th use these tools to kill many zombies in Mob the Dead. This has been Omagent. Thank you very much for watching and goodbye.